Okay, this is going to talk about uh, what different types of software are available to you to make your podcast, livecast, common crap video, whatever it happens to be. So I'm going to go through the, the basic, uh, the basic um, software that's available to you and kind of give you a quick overview of it on your screen there, talk about the pros and cons, and point you into the resources that, uh, that are available there for you. So the first is we're going to talk about audio only. So this is if you uh, if you want to do audio on your computer. Now there's two programs that are really good for this. The first is uh, GarageBand. So GarageBand, if you have a Mac, is a fantastic a fantastic program, uh, and it has a podcast option in there. Now if you don't have a Mac, don't worry. There's an alternative here for you. But uh, for those of you who, who do have Macs and you want to do audio only, highly recommend. Uh, GarageBand. Uh, GarageBand will also send it directly into uh, into iTunes for you, uh, convert it to MP3s, uh, and that sort of that sort of good stuff. Now there is a set of tutorials here for you. Uh, you can uh, you know actually what is podcasting, podcasting, getting started, and then number four here using um, using GarageBand. So these are some great tutorials for you if you are going to use it on adding jingles and sound effects and and all that sort of fun stuff getting started uh, and so this would be a great place for you to uh, start to uh, if you're going planning on using that. The second one is Audacity. Now Audacity is both Mac and PC friendly so you can uh, and Linux for that matter so anybody can use it. Uh, it's also absolutely free so uh, not only can anybody use it on any machine but they can use it for for any um, you know for no cost. So this is uh, sometimes I see this or hear about this in computer labs when uh, teachers are teaching their students how to use uh, how to do podcasting use Audacity because they don't have to worry about licensing. Uh, it is uh, I, I would say it's a little bit more difficult than GarageBand to use. Uh, that being said, it's still it's still a, a, a quality uh, program out there that's been used for years and years. And uh, there's also a, a series of of uh, of tutorials out there, so step by steps how to do it from basic recording setup, the editing tools, trimming your audio, adjusting levels, uh, importing and adding music to your podcast, and then saving it and exporting it to, to MP3. And that part a little bit more cumbersome than um, than GarageBand is exporting it to an MP3. So again, it, it is a quality is it a quality program, and and I've uh, I've had lots of uh, uh, students, not lots, a handful of students each year who uh, who you know tried and use. Uh, Audacity as well. Successfully tried to use Audacity. So that is uh, that is the two main audio ones. Okay. Now the there are uh, some enhanced audio podcasting options. So adding images or PowerPoint slides to it. Uh, you've seen two of those, Novio and Present Me, uh, and and both. Let's go into that. So Novio is 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 great. You get to have the PowerPoint. Uh, on one side, the video on the other, and then you can, of course, uh, make them bigger and smaller as as needed, as you you probably saw uh, with the example you just you just watched or should have just watched uh, before you moved on uh, before you moved on to this one. So, <clears throat> present me works pretty much the same way. Uh, you have a oops, taking me to my uh, to my home there. Uh, you have uh, oh my home. Okay, let's log out. Um, it's it, you. You can record presentations, have video with it, have don't have video with it, uh, and and it works great. Simple. Both of these are very simple to use, uh, and then they uh, allow you to the, you know actually present me allows you to do a little editing. So you want to trim a little bit off something. You went a little bit long. You can uh, go through and edit um, edit that. All right. Going back and back. All right. Uh, now, let's say you have a podcast. You don't want any video involved. You have a podcast, uh, an audio podcast, and you have a, um, and then you have the uh, the PowerPoint slides. You can use um, a program called SlideShare, uh, which is online, online, uh, an online. Really, it's a PowerPoint sharing, a PowerPoint sharing a social site, kind of like the YouTube of PowerPoints. 
and and I've used this site for for years. I, I've moved a little bit away from it over the last few years to um, when when Google Docs really became big. I started publishing all my PowerPoints uh, there. But what this does that Google Docs doesn't is allow you to attach audio to it. So you can create the PowerPoint, create the audio, and then um, then kind of attach it to it and and make it so it runs through. Um, it runs through that and it's not here now but I will put a uh, an example I'll put an example of of a screen a slide share uh, with audio on Arthur's author stream works the same way so you you create the you create the audio and you have the PowerPoint and you can kind of attach them together so that's if you are if you are doing uh, an enhanced uh, with some images you you can actually in, in GarageBand also add images to different parts of the podcast so when you're watching it in iTunes in the album art area a different image will show up or you can double click on that and it will uh, it will be larger so not quite as sophisticated as as Novio or present me but that's considered an enhanced podcast as well so you can have some images uh, along the way and those images could actually be photographs or drawings you know JPEGs PNGs whatever uh, or they could be PowerPoint sized exported as images, but that has to be has to be one or the other. Now, <clears throat> now we're getting into uh, so, so we've gone through through those those two, uh, GarageBand, Audacity, Enhanced Podcast, Podcast Options. Now we're looking at client applications, and so here are a number of client applications that you, some are free, some some have free trials, and others are uh, others cost something that are made for this that run natively on your computer so you're not doing it through the internet uh, like Novio or present, present, present Me so you get a little bit better quality you may have noticed some of the, the video and the audio in, in Novio and Present Me isn't, isn't the best so here you're, you're having something that's being processed on your computer that's a little bit higher quality and then you can upload it to, to different places um, to, uh, to then share it with, with your audience. ScreenFlow is the first one I'm going to show you this is Mac. Uh, great, sophisticated program. Allows you to, uh, a lot of professors use this, and, and there's another one specifically for professors that you can actually record and play it through, uh, play it through um, speakers too. So you can, you can kind of have the best of both worlds. You can speak into a microphone and, and record it. Uh, there is a, a free trial. Uh, otherwise, it's 99 bucks, so it's a little bit on the expensive side, but uh, it's easy to use. Uh, and you don't, you know, it's it's easy to use, and so it works. It works very, very well. I've, I've played with the trial, and uh, and would recommend that. Another one is, oops, I thought I deleted that. Uh, I have using, ah, I did delete it. Uh, <clears throat> I had using um, using Keynote on there, but you can use Keynote with these other ones, so I don't have I eliminated that link. Uh, Profcast. I had a couple people who really raved about this last year. Uh, decided to go ahead and buy it. Um, I think it's twenty nine dollars, fifty nine dollars, um, and and really really enjoyed using this. And and this this does the same thing that the previous one does. You can have a live presentation, play it through the speakers, uh, synchronize the slides with the audio, so it records as you move the slide forward and you're talking. It records that, so you don't have to worry about going back later on and. And, and doing that and you get a, a superior recording in Profcast on your computer versus Novio or P Present Me. Now ease of use, it's a little bit easier to use those Novio and Present Me but uh, because then you can just publish the, the, uh, uh, the results instantly but there is a limit on those as far as time is concerned uh, for the free versions, I believe 15 minutes. So if you want to do something longer then you're going to need to do uh, one of these one of these clients in, in some fashion. The next is Chapter Master. Now this is more audio enhanced audio so you have uh, different sections of the audio and then you can have a image that kind of shows up with that to show up in iTunes uh, as it's as it's being played. And this is a PC only program. Uh, 15 bucks so not very much. Um, and this would also be a good alternative to uh, to GarageBand if you don't have if you don't have GarageBand it's it's a little bit easier to use than maybe Audacity, uh, but it does cost it does cost fifteen bucks. Next we have Camtasia, and that's what I'm using right now to to uh, record this. Uh, Camtasia is a um, really a full service a full service uh, um, program that we for both Macs and 
PC, so here's the Mac versions. Uh, you know, I, I set it to record just part of my screen here. Uh, and then I can add titles to it, I can do editing to it. Um, so you know you can create some professional polish. That's another thing with, with most of these other online tools is uh, what you see is, is what you get. So you don't really get uh, you don't get really get the editing options to add text or in really any place can you add text to, whether it's uh, in transitions or, or uh, at the beginning. It's all it's all right there. You know just what you have and so unless you prepare for that and have like a word document or a google doc you know there to uh provide you uh, those transition those transition texts or introduction texts you don't have that option camtasia you can do something a lot more a lot more professional uh the, I, I was thinking this is similar to one called captivate which is what the, the program i was thinking of last week uh, and i couldn't quite couldn't quite remember captivate if you use captivate is is also uh, uh has a, some very professional, very professional feel to it. So there is a a, uh, a Windows version and a Mac version. Uh, the Windows version actually is a little more sophisticated than the Mac version. You can see it's only on version two for Mac. Uh, well, well, on the Windows side, it's it's version seven point one. Um, and so there's lots of lots of uh, lots of great uses of this. Uh, the one downside of this is it just takes more time. And so while I would love to have a more f polished and finished product a lot of the time, I'm, I just don't have time to, uh, to do that when I'm doing, when I'm doing screencasting. All right, and then the last one is Podcast Maker. And this is also a, uh, a, Mac, a Mac version. So uh, I have a few Mac versions and a few PC versions of some software here. And um, it, it's... Uh, it allows you actually what this does is is it also allows you to connect it to the web so you're able to put it online a little bit easier uh, and it walks you through walks you through that and if you're interested you can watch the, the three minute three minute tutorial right there all right so those are the client softwares uh, options that you have uh, that you have uh, and now we're going to go to online audio and mobile devices a little bit of, of overlap there uh, <clears throat> Online audio, so you want to just record audio online. There's two major ones, uh, and actually I'm going to throw Cinch in there as well. Uh, iPadio, uh, Podbean, and Cinch allow you to record directly from your computer onto, uh, onto a website. And it even will set up an RSS feed. So I think all three of these will set up RSS feeds for you. So really the, uh, the ease of it is, is there. The downside is no editing capabilities. Uh, you record it, and it's it's bare bones. Whatever you record it, so you can't go back and, and fix it or or add things. No intro music, none of, none of that. So this would be more of an informal podcast or uh, a way to, to just record some audio and then bring it into GarageBand or Audacity or or uh, another similar similar program. <clears throat> Same with the mobile device options. We have so much, so many people use their their devices now for just about everything. Uh, you can. Um, you can do that here too. Cinch is a is a big one that's kind of uh, grown in popularity in the last year or so. Uh, that allows you to easily create audio content uh, using any phone, computer, mobile device. Uh, it then will essentially make it into a podcast for you. Provide uh, provide the RSS feed that you could add to iTunes uh, if you wanted to. So um, it's gotten a little better in the last year. So you can. Uh, can do me I think you can do a little bit of editing it also really uh, really keeps track of of uh, who's listening and what they're listening to and, and all that and there is a cost involved for okay cost used to be on there. I forget what the cost is but there is a cost involved if you're gonna use it a lot I believe there's a free version and then a um, a version that that costs and there's an app that you can get on both your iPhone or your Android Android device if you have an Android device there is an Android market on the Android market uh, there are lots of audio recording uh, audio recording apps on there as well all right last online screencasting options so now you also have just a straight screencast. So Camtasia here, I'm doing a screencast, but I'm adding a few titles into it. If you want just a straight screencast, then these three um, work great as well. Jing is part of the, the techsmith.com uh, suite of tools that they offer. Camtasia is one of those, one of those uh, 
uh, one of those tools that uh, are involved there. So Jing, Jing is really an offshoot of Camtasia. It's online uh, screener. Uh, also, I use a lot of screener for my uh, uh, for my photo classes. And I can sign in with. Let's see if it'll let me sign in with Twitter. I use Twitter to. Uh, All right, very good. So here are here are let's go. So my screencasts. Uh, so here are all the screencasts that I've done for for my mostly for my students, uh, and occasionally, you know, sometimes there I was trying to show uh, um, another teacher how to use Picasso with their with their with their students, and I just did a quick screencast and shot it on over to her to to show her how to do it. It was much easier than typing out very specific instructions. And look, it, caught, it took me two minutes and eleven seconds to to do it. Uh, the way the way all these uh, online screencasting. Uh, programs work is there's a record button you hit record it's actually going to want to it's not going to work because I'm using the uh, um, I'm using the uh, the audio and the video uh, for for the Camtasia but you pick a part of the screen that you want to uh, you want to record then you hit record then you're done and then it shows up it shows up uh, on screener and you save it and then you can you can embed it in um, in a Google Sites, you can link to it directly. You can send it to YouTube. Uh, there's lots of things you can do. It. Screencasting, online screencasting, has become really simple and and again not as uh, sophisticated as Camtasia. You can't add, you can't edit, you can't add things. Uh, although you can download them as as MP4s um, and edit them on your computer in iMovie uh, or some other you know Windows Movie Maker, but uh, it's not as it's just just not as easy, but it's the ease of use makes it uh, makes it something that is well worth your time. Uh, screener and Screen Toaster only have a five minute uh, Jing as well, I believe, only has a five minute window uh, for you to record in. There's another one I'll add on here: Screencast-O-Matic. Uh, Screencast-O-Matic allows you 15 minutes, so if you're looking for something longer than five minutes, Screencast-O-Matic lets you do 15 minutes. And Jing, Jing another thing about Jing uh, is uh, you only have so much bandwidth you can use a month, so if you have something that's watched by a lot of people or you have 50 people watching it, you could run out of bandwidth, uh, especially if you're doing multiple things. So um, I started using Jing and I really like Jing. I think I, I like it as a tool, maybe a little bit better than Screener, but that bandwidth issue um, Cause me to uh, to have some re you know to cause me to reconsider it. Uh, finally, the last last little bit of things here I have is music and sound effect resources, uh, royalty free classical music, fine sounds, free audio clips, jewel beats. So th there's, these are some places where you could find some audio that you could put into your. Uh, your podcast as well. So if you want, you want a place to uh, to look and don't want to worry about copyright. There's some some things you can do there. All right. So this is ending the software overview. Um, I did have one link on on hardware requirements on the website that that talks a little bit about that. I addressed that in the technical considerations earlier. But if you're interested in reading more and want want to know more about the soft, excuse me, about audio hardware, you can go click on that link, and it will give you lots of information um, on the hardware side of it. Again, you can just use uh, the software and just use the microphone built in the computer, or if you have a, a nicer mic. Um, then definitely use that with a headset or something you're using for your online classes. Uh, that's going to be better than the microphone in your computer. All right, so that ends this part of uh, the presentation. There will be one more, uh, one more, uh, I believe, after this. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, please email me. Otherwise, we'll, uh, we'll see you next week and see you on Google Groups. So there will be one more that talks about what I'm expecting from you, uh, the assignment here. Uh, following up uh, after you've watched all the all the recordings. All right, have a great uh, have a great week, and I'll look forward to seeing your responses on Google Groups.